Good day, children. Let's continue the class. Yes. Let's start the class with a prayer. Oh God, bless all of us so that we may learn the subjects better and do our duties well. Yes. So, hope all the lessons you are learning daily. Isn't it? So, the last chapter, it was about the what was it about? Yeah, the adaptation of the plants. That is, uh, how the plants growing in different regions, how are they able to, what are the different features on the different parts hmm, for them to be, uh, to grow in that area. Yes. So, in the same way, in this chapter, the next chapter, we are going to the next chapter that is about the food production in plants. You know that the only living thing that makes its own food, that is the, they are the plants. Yes. So, we are going to see again. First, we will see the plant. There are different parts of the plant. Then, how the different parts, each part is having a specific function for the plants. Hmm? For each plant, part is having, and you have studied this in the last year. Remember it, the plant parts and its functions. Same thing only in this chapter also. Again. So, when I am taking this, you have to give me the answer. What are the different functions of the different parts? First, yourself, you tell me the different parts of the plant. If you have a, just a, you can draw the plant. First, you can draw the plant. Yes, then you can mark the different parts. Then after that, you will tell me the functions. Each part is having a specific function to help the plant in its growth. Okay, so that's what we are going to see in this chapter. Understood? So, first let's draw a plant. Yes, first we will draw a plant. Everybody know to draw the plant, isn't it? So, what is it? How to draw the plant? First, we will draw the stem. Then, you know what is this part? Where can you see this part? Yes, you can see this part under the soil and that is a root okay now again here you can see another main part yeah they are the leaves so sometimes the plant is plant in between you can see but yes what is it you know that here I draw the other one. Yeah. Flower. Okay. So these are the this is a plant. The different functions. So now you see the different parts. Now the part which is below the soil that is known as the that is the root. Root. From there itself we can tell what is the function of the root. You have to tell me the functions of each part now. This is the Stem, then uh, it is one. If I write leaf, otherwise, everything together, all this plural form is leaves. You have to write leaves. Then, this is the bud, then flower. Okay, so these are the different parts of the plant. Now, looking at here itself, you can give me the functions. What are the different functions of the Parts of the plant. First, we will come from the root. Show you the functions of the root. What will be the function of the root? What is it? It is under the soil. Why is growing under the soil? What is it doing? Yes, it helps the plant to be fixed in the soil. It helps to be get fixed in the soil. That is the first function of the root. It helps the plant to get fixed in the soil. Then, another one is, what are things the plant need for growing? What are the things the plants need for growing? First, except you know that is the water. Plants need water to grow. Yes. Then, it is growing in the soil. So, in the soil, there are some important elements. Yes, for the plants to grow. And those elements are known as the minerals in the soil. And those minerals and the water when you pour, the leaves are not taking like that. It is going to the soil. And from the soil, 
the water, the minerals and also air is absorbed by the roots. They are the ones who absorb all these things from the soil. It absorbs the, uh, what is it, uh, water and minerals from the soil. Understood? So these are the functions of the root. Yes? So that is the function of the root. Again, the next part, above the soil, you can see different parts. The first one is stem. If you're looking at here itself, you can first we can tell that the stem is the part which helps the plant to stand in an upright position, isn't it? Then what is the next one? It helps the it is the one who bears all the other parts. You can see the leaves attached to the stem, the flower attached to the stem. The buds attach to the stem. If there are fruits, if it is a fruit bearing uh, plant, means the fruits also will be attached to the stem, isn't it? So it has it is the one who bears all the other parts. Okay, so the stem. So first one is the stem. The stem helps in the plant to stand in the upright position. The next one is it bears all the other parts of the plant. Then again, one more thing is. Now the root is absorbed, has absorbed all the water, minerals, everything, isn't it? Then this should go to the other parts. And the stem is the one who is supplying us, taken that water and minerals to the different parts of the plant. Understood? It is the one who supplies water to the leaves. So that is the function of the stem. Yes? Now we we'll come to the next one, the most important part, which is a green in color. Yes, and that is the kitchen. We we'll call it as the food factory of the plant or the kitchen of the plant. And who is that? Yes, they are the leaves. And last year, remember, and uh, you know, for all the plants, are the leaves the same, like the same condition, in the same uh, size, same uh, like that and all? No. There are different types of leaves. There are big leaves. There are small tiny leaves. Isn't it? Then we have seen the different parts of a leaf also in the last year. Do you remember it? We will come to it. Before that just we will go through the functions and we will study in detail about the different parts. Okay. So first leaves. We call it as a food factory of the plant. Why do we call the food factory? Why do we call them the food factory of the plant? Why is it so? Because it is the one who is preparing the food for the plant. Understood? So, that is the one who prepares food for the plant. Yes? Then comes the flower, the most attractive and beautiful part. Okay. So, these are the different parts and the functions. This just I revised, uh, revised what you have learned in the last year. Only that much is there in this in this chapter also, again a little more additional thing is given. Only that, others, everything, we have, what you have learned in the last year class. Understood? And this you are learning from the smaller class also, all these things. So you shouldn't forget this. Same thing again repeated. Yes, now we will come to the first part, which is under the soil. Yeah, the roots, which fix the plant to the soil. Shall you see that first one, we come to the roots first. Now first we will see the roots. Now for all the plants the roots will be the same type. There are different types of roots. There are two types of roots. So first you will see the, which are the two types of fruit. One is tap root. Okay. And the next one is fibrous root. Understood. Now you see what is a tap root and a fibrous root. A fibrous root, it is very common if you, there is, there is grass, you took the grass and you, what, how is the root of that? You can see the, uh, you can see very bushy type of root. Fully it is like hairy, uh, it will be very, very bushy. You can see like this, very, very bushy type. The next example is this grass. Another example is rice plant, paddy. Oh, wheat, onion, all these are examples for the this type of root. But for tap root, there will be a main root like this coming. For this, there will be a main root. And from that small hair, not like this very bushy hair, small hair like this. Only that much will be there. 
that is the tap root. For some plants, the roots will be this kind of roots, tap root. And for fibrous root, some plants like grass, onion, all those will be having the very bushy, hairy root. That is known as the fibrous root. Is it clear? So there are two types of roots, tap root and the fibrous root. And the main functions of the roots we are seeing, what is it? The roots help the plant uh, to get fixed in the soil. It absorbs the water and nutrients from the soil. So these are the two functions. Then one more function is there in some plants. Now mainly where is the food stored in the plants? The mainly the food will be the prepared food by the leaves are stored that is the fruit. Uh, the food is stored mainly in the fruits. But in some plants, the extra food, uh, if there are fruits not enough, in some plants, the extra food will be uh, stored in some other parts. If there is extra means, it will be stored in some plants, that food will be stored inside the roots and the, that roots will become swollen. That roots will become swollen and it you will be able to eat also. Understood? And that kind of roots we call as the underground roots which you can eat because the fruit food is stored in the roots. Can you give some examples for that kind of roots, underground roots which are edible as it is storing food inside it. One is one vegetable which is very helpful for your eyesight, good for your eyesight. Uh, here, what is it? Carrot. Carrot. That is an example for a best example for a underground road where the food is stored. Any other one? Oh, yeah, there is one vegetable in the name of the root itself. Which is it? Beetroot. Yes. So, some examples of the underground roots which we can eat. As it is uh, storing food inside it, they are called the underground roots. And some examples are carrot, beetroot, radish. These are some of the examples for the underground roots. Look at, so roots are of two types, taproot and Fibrous root. Tap root are the roots. From the main root, the hairs are coming. Fibrous root, they don't have the main root, but it is hairy, very bushy type roots. Okay. And in some of the roots, the food will be stored, extra food will be stored in it. And it will be edible for us. It is edible. We can eat it. Yes. And that kind of roots are known as the underground roots. Examples are carrot, beetroot and ranch. You can give some more. You can find a two more examples for these roots. Understood? So that is about the root. Now we come to the stems. Stem. Now we have said that already that the stem is the one who held the plant to stand in upright position. Yes, the stem will be very strong in some of the plants. Hmm? There will be the stem with the thick woody stems. Which are the plants for having thick woody stems? Yeah, trees. And what we call the thick woody stem of the trees is called as the trunk. But in some plants, hmm, the stem will be very weak. There are some plants where the stems will be very weak. They cannot stand in an upright position. They need support of the other uh, stick or any other plant for growing up. Uh, sometimes the stem will be creeping along the ground. Understood? So, there are some plants in such way as the stems are stem need the support as it is weak. It needs the support of the other plant or it needs it will be creeping along the ground. So, according to that the plants are divided into two types. Yes, there are uh, the plants with the weak stems which need the support. And stems. Some plants need a support because as it is weak, it needs the support of the other plant for growing and all. And those kind of stems which need support, they are called as the climbers. Have you seen some like that growing in any other coconut tree and all, they will be climbing on it. One example, you can give money plant. Yes. Any other example can you give me? 
if you don't know find out okay so these are the example you give me examples for the uh, underground roads then the climbers the plants which are climbers again there are creepers which will be creeping along the ground creepers will be creeping as it is not able to stand upright position it will be creeping along the ground and they are known as the they are known as the creepers yes in the same way so for that also one example i will give pumpkin mattanga matte pumpkin is one example for this creepers for climbers i have given an example money plant on oh, in the garden itself you can find some more examples we'll get some more examples two more examples for all these you will find out understood so these are the works for you so be carefully listen one is give two examples for the climbers give two examples for more the creepers and two examples for the underground roots that is enough no that work is enough again we will see as we have said the roots in roots the extra food is stored in the same way in some plants the extra food will be stored inside the stems and it will become in bulge bulge and also you can eat that stem is it clear in some of the plants the stem will store extra food and those kind of stem we call as the underground stem or another name is tubers underground stem or tubers you can call it as another term term as tubers understood and best example is uh, the thing with which you make the french fries what is it what is it potato potato is actually the stem of the plant so the best example for that is the potato potato is actually the stem of the plant okay so that is the one example another one is with which you make a uh, sugar that is sugar cane that is another example for the stem and it is underground stem sugar cane sugar cane stem is actually the that is a stem sugar cane so till here is enough for today so we have learned about the plants the parts of the plant the functions of the different parts of the plant then two types of roots then roots are uh, storing extra food in it and they are known as the underground roots then what you have learned about the stem there are some weak stem plants they are known as one as climbers another one is a creeper then what you have learned about the stem in which the food is stored examples of potato sugar cane there are many examples in that also so what is your work you have to find out the two more underground roots that is clear then examples for climbers two examples for climbers then examples for creepers this is the work for you for this week understood so thank you children read this chapter also read this chapter also and when you come for the live class what you have to do is you can bring a leaf we are ready with a leaf yes any one leaf you can bring so then i will tell in the live class i will ask you what to do so that should be the thing what you have to uh, be ready with understood a leaf should be there in your hand okay thank you children